sure this is the right tomorrow. finds you, all the houses of hell will do anything to get back to you. I'm sorry, but it doesn't end here. From now on, there is always a chance this will happen again, no matter where you are. I don't want this. I just want to leave. What do I do? I'm sorry, but there's no going back. I've spent years learning everything I can to keep these entities at bay. It's the only thing we can do. So what, you're waging some selfless holy war? It's not a war. It's survival. And I'd hardly call it selfless. We're caught at the front line of something larger. But I don't do this for some greater good. We either face it, or fall to it. I wish I could claim to be someone better. Suffering hell to save us all. But I simply want to live another day just like everyone else. When I first experienced this, I had to make a choice. I could run and spend the rest of my days in fear, or I could learn to face it and keep some semblance of a normal life. Normal, right. It's not a life I would want for anyone, but choosing between a life of fear or control you're the first person I've met to face this hell and survive. So I'm offering you a different kind of job. Work the night shift. Learn what I know. Give yourself a chance at a life beyond fear. I don't know what you experienced, but I know it uses the worst parts of you against yourself. The more you experience, the more you'll confront the darkest parts of your life. But through it, you'll become unbreakable. I'm offering the tools to take control. The choice is yours. I hope you come back.
You've come a long way. It's nice not to be the one down there for a change. <sighs> Mr. Dover? I think you can just call me Raymond at this point. Do you always just pass out and wake up on the floor? It takes a lot out of you. I've never simply walked out of here after. You get used to it. I'll be sure to clean the floors better. Raymond, will this ever end? I honestly don't know. I've been doing this a long time, Rebecca. I've traveled all over, learning everything I can. I've never found anything that could put a stop to it. So no, I don't think it does. So we're just like this forever? It was hard for me too. But this is the life we get. We have to face our worst selves, constantly. But the better we know ourselves, the stronger we are. Why don't you head home? Get some rest. Who knows what's coming tonight? Nice not to be the one down there for a change. Raymond? I suppose a first name basis is in order. D did I make it? Is it over? For now. It's never really over. You've come a long way. It's a lot to learn. I'm so glad I'm here. I know it's disorienting. You'll get used to it. You should head home and get some rest. Every night can be different. I think I'm fine. Are you sure? You seem out of it. Oh, I've just been waiting for so, so long. What? What are you? Oh no, you chose the wrong body. Rebecca. Rebecca's not here, you fucking <laughs> idiot. Watch your foolish boy, and drink it as it melts from your pitiful frame!
Raymond. I'm here. I, I can't believe you. What you've been doing is monstrous. I've said already that I've had to accept everything about myself. Just like you do. This is a necessary evil. It's sick! She's down there, right now, just suffering for no reason! Valerie is not down there. Not anymore. She's been gone for years. You don't know that! You're just gonna let her stay there! You don't know what she's feeling. You are torturing her! She's helping me survive. She's helping us survive. Without her, there's no reagent. Without the reagent, we have nothing. You want to have a chance at life, it comes with a cost. This cost. You have to make a choice, just like I did. What choice? Keep her alive to just bleed her over and over again to save ourselves? If she can't be saved, end the torture. I mean, she's down there suffering for your own gain. My gain? My gain. You used her too. It didn't stop you from finishing the job. You used her blood anyway. When it came down to it, you chose survival, just like I did. I can't kill her, Rebecca. I know it's the right thing to do for her. I know. She isn't the only one. What? I've seen many experience what you did. None have survived. I've watched them degrade and suffer until they're no longer themselves. I didn't know what else to do. I couldn't just let them suffer. I searched for years to find a way to reverse it. All I found was the way to prevent more. Isn't that better than nothing? I've killed them all, Rebecca. It was the only thing I could do. So yes, I am a monster. But this one horrible thing has prevented me from having to take any more life. And I would choose that again and again. I can't live with any more death than I already do. I've made peace with it. The choice is yours if you can too. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, little love. D dad I'm here. It's all right. You're safe. Oh my god, Dad. Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. It's, it's all right. I ruined everything. No, no. My little girl, don't do this to yourself. You've suffered enough. You're not like her, Rebecca. Your mother. She gave up on life long before she died. 
What happened to me was the result of choices you should have never been exposed to. You changed your life. And I'm so proud of you. You changed it too. Not before I heard you. Sweetie, you can't do this to yourself. Don't remember me like this. I, I don't want to forget you. If you relive that night over and over, you'll only remember pain. The best of me is in you, sweetie. I'm with you forever. I just miss you so much. Every day I just... I don't know where to go without you. Shh, I know. I know it's hard. But you know where to go. You've already found it. Souls are suffering, Rebecca. But you can help them. You can bring comfort and closure to the living. And let the dead rest. Let the dead rest, Rebecca. I love you. Dad. I love you. I can keep track of things. Mr. Delver? Yeah. 